Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! The following video will contain spoilers from the Flash episode, Potential Energy. So, spoiler alert. If you don't want anything ruined for you, stop watching now. For everybody else here, hi guys, Dave here. All right, the mid-season break is over. We're back in the new episodes. And also, I just want to give a quick little shout out. Uh, <laughs> over the break, I felt compelled to do a uh, like an updated version or a new remix of one of my own songs, uh, Flashback Funk. Uh, so, I actually did it. I found a cool rock version of Uptown Funk, thanks to a guy named Gabriel Cecilia. I hope I'm saying your name right. I did a little video, and uh, here's the cool part. I call it Flash Fact Funk Nth Metal Remix. You can go back into my videos and check that out right now. Here's the cool part. <laughs> Not only is it being featured on the Arrowverse, but <laughs> I tweeted that to several of the cast members and even the writing staff of the Flash Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow, because I updated and, and giving a shout out to all three shows. Sierra Renee, who plays Kendra Saunders, aka Hawk Girl, on the show, liked my tweet with the video link. I can't stress this enough. Sierra Renee, Hawk Girl, liked my tweet with my video link. <laughs> okay, look, I guess I'm excited. I'm still beaming from that. That was a couple days ago, but. Look, if you make a parody song about one of your favorite shows and one of the stars of said show responds and likes it, you're going to squeal like a fangirl too. That doesn't sound manly, but I'm going with it. <laughs> so thank you again. It close. Please check it out. Anyway, all right. So it starts off pretty interestingly. It has uh, uh, Barry uh, going into uh, meet uh, Patty for a date, running so fast that the flowers he, ca he gets catches fire. And we see the little snippet of what looks like then Zoom snatching up Patty one-handed. He goes running off, and he's dropping her off of a roof, but uh, Barry isn't able to catch her. Then he wakes up from a dream with Patty still sleeping, so he is terrified that Zoom could take Patty from him. So he's trying to deal with that. Team, you know, Team Star Labs is trying to work on a way to stop Zoom. Unfortunately, it's getting frustrating. The darts aren't working. So, then it turns out it's time for a pet project that Cisco wants to, is to, to come out here to focus on. A strange metahuman called the Turtle. At first, he seems like he actually has speed powers, moving so fast everyone else is standing still. But what he's actually doing is he's absorbing the kinetic energy that people were making having them essentially just stuck in potential energy. But because they're frozen in time and they're not able to move or process things, to them, it looks like turtles moving in just as fast as Flash. They're thinking his speed dampening power might be the key to stopping Zoom. So <clears throat> they start looking into the crimes that he's committing and trying to get the pattern for that. Meanwhile, uh, uh, Joe is trying to reconnect with Wally. There's hints at the police station that uh, maybe Wally has a bit of a shady past and you know, he loves to dig at Joe for the great detective. Couldn't even know that he had a son. There's some definite friction and tension there. And, you know, I gotta admit, Wally is a bit off-putting in here. And, personally, I wish it could be a little bit more. I mean, I, I like the Wally from the comics, but they're trying something a little different. And I'll see where it goes, but I'm not sure. Anyway... While this is going on, they do manage to encounter the turtle, and Flash does try to stop him, but that's how they start to figure out how his powers start to work and how he essentially nulls people down. And given the fact that it's one of the stars from Battlestar Galactica, everything about him, from the green hoodie to his pattern of speech, gets the character down. And I gotta tell you, people laugh at the turtle, but they actually make the turtle very interesting and even sinister in here. Meanwhile, Patty's trying to get close to Barry. She knows that he's holding something back. She's freaking out about the things that's going on. Meanwhile, she's also got a package from Midway City University that she hasn't opened yet. She's trying to push to try to get Barry to open up and open up. Meanwhile, she gets invited to uh, an art party where Team Flash is trying to set a trap for the turtle who is going after things that are priceless to somebody else. Well... Barry ends up doing the superhero thing, ducking out just as he's about to reveal possibly who he is to Patty. Turtle comes in. Patty does her thing to try to stop him, but 
Darnier gets killed when <laughs> the turtle shoots at a chandelier. It's falling. He's slowing down uh, everything, but the Flash manages to get there just in time, push Patty out of the way, and boom. <laughs> the chandelier comes down on him. So it's up to Jay Garrick, the Flash Team Flash, to get him the heck out of there and try to figure out what's going on and happening next. Patty, of course, feels left, abandoned. She's trying to get Barry to open up and saying, you better hurry up because you know, I can only wait for so long. So he's got a lot on his mind. He's debating about telling her. Should I tell her? Should I not? And meanwhile, of course, then we find out that Wally's been street racing illegally to get hot rod cars. Joe catches him. And he's starting to lay down the law a little bit, but turns out Wally isn't just doing it to be greedy. He, he apparently, the only way to pay for his mother's you know, hospital bills from the cancer that's killing her is the money he makes from getting the cars and selling them. So his motives are in the right way, but you know, not the greatest way of doing it. So. Uh, there's definitely some tension and friction there, and it's kind of really iffy. Well, meanwhile, while this is all going on here, uh, it looks like because of what we've seen, uh, Patty gets a knock on the door, and the turtle managed to find him, find her. She gets kidnapped by the turtle and laid a trap for him. Eventually, the turtle sees how much the Flash was willing to risk and care for Patty to save her. So, given the pattern as he goes after things that are most valuable to somebody, kind of like a slow motion Mr. Freeze from the Batman animated series, he's essentially laying a trap. They manage to figure out who the turtle really is, where the uh, possibilities are, are they storing all of this stuff, and just before <laughs> the turtle's about to actually slowly drain away and kill Patty, here comes Flash. They have a huge, you know, mix-up and fight. It's full, you know, on, you know, kinetic energy and speed versus slowing, and it's touch and go there for a bit, but we get to really start to see more of a measure of just how much Barry's willing to fight for somebody. Goes busting through, and he manages to <laughs> slowly, but surely, take Turtle down. So that was cool. And Patty's very gracious. You know, she's saying, Whoever you are, thank you, thank you. And Barry decides to finally get around to telling Patty who he really is, after ha having the turtle now locked up in the pipeline. Unfortunately, the decision has been made. It turns out she joined the police force so she can go after the Marsden brothers who killed her father. But she always wanted to be a CSI like Barry. Well, she put that off so that she could go after the Weather Wizard. Now that that's been done, she's decided that since Barry is kind of being wishy-washy not coming forward, she's going to move on and go to Midway City and go back to school to become a CSI. It's, it's really crushing and it really sucks because Barry and Patty are a cute couple. I was kind of pulling for them to fight, despite the fact that I know what's eventually supposed to happen in the future, but it's it's a it's a tug at the heartstrings, man. And speaking of another tug, eventually it looks like Joe and Wally start to put their stuff to, you know, aside and saying, look, I'm gonna stop trying to be the dad you never had, and you can stop trying to be the you know the son that you know that whatever, and try to actually come together. So after all these attempts of trying to come together for dinner and everything else, it's slowly but surely starting to happen. So it's rough. There's definitely a lot of friction, but hopefully that can work out. And before the epilogue, you know, uh, scene, we've got Dr. Harrison Welsh from Earth Two, who's giving a journal about hopefully being able to find Jesse, saying how much he's willing to do anything to save his daughter. Knowing that it comes down to having to steal speed in order to do it, he goes in and <laughs> while Turtle is incapacitated, looks like he takes an actual brain sample from him to try to figure out how to, to, to take it. So the Turtle may be dead thanks to Harry Wells. What the hell's going on? Meanwhile, all this is going on also, throughout the episode, we got to find out, Caitlin's finding out more about Jay, about how he's tried to get his powers back but couldn't. But she also runs a genetic test on him. And it turns out he's actually, something happened to him where he is slowly dying. He's fading out. And 
Caitlin's so upset. She's like, what? You know that I lost Ronnie. How could you get close to me and do that? Jay's like, look, I didn't know this was going to happen, but the only way to cure me is to get my speed back. And yet he's reluctant to take Velocity 6. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to maybe do another Jay Garrick's Dark Side video here because I'm starting to wonder about what's going on. Anyway, the epilogue scene after the you know, after the flash uh, symbol at the, uh, at the end of the credits there. We get to see what looks like a autumn day, possibly Earth 2, and suddenly a time door opens up, a wormhole comes up, and we get a blur in there, and we see a very familiar yellow and black costume of the fla uh, the reverse Flash, Eobard Thawne. Takes his mask off, he pulls out Gideon and says, where the hell am I? By everything it's indicating next week's episode, yes, it's going to actually be called The Reverse Flash Returns. And here's the kicker. It looks like, because of the whole time thing, uh, this could actually be the first time in his timeline Eobard Thawne comes back in time. So how did he survive? How did he not get wiped out from existence? What's going on here? All of these things or mysteries are going to be explained as of next week. So... I'm looking forward to that. All in all, I think that this episode of uh, uh, Potential Energy was okay, but I was really hoping for something a little bit more, a little more hype, a little more energy to come back on it, you know? Of course, that's just me. But all in all, it's not bad. It's not a bad setup. It's just we're losing Patty, so that's going to kind of stink. Uh, what? The ride's going to keep on getting better? We got... Arrow coming on again uh, Wednesday night. We've got the premiere of Legends of Tomorrow. And uh, a quick little spoiler for that. Rip Hunter's Time Ship with artificial intelligence is called the Wave Rider. So any DC comic fan who loves that gets the reference is going to be geeking out on that. <laughs> anyway, I thought this episode for Flash was okay. It's the start of a great week. Flash, Team Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow, as I sang about in Flash Fact Funk at Metal Remix. So... It's definitely going to be a good week for a DC fanboy. So, what did you guys think of the episode of uh, Potential Energy? Please like, comment, subscribe, share, pass this bad boy around, tell me what you guys think, and please check out my other video. For God's sake, Sierra Renee liked my link and music video. <laughs> wow, I really sound like a super villain, don't I? Okay, well, regardless, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please tell me what you guys think. I have to wait another 24 hours or so before I can put this into various groups because they got kind of a, a rule for that. But, hey, not a problem. Please, tell me what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you all. Until next time, Dave signing off. Peace. Yum, yum.